what's up y'all i'm super excited because i am going to show you an easy mommy beat that you can get easily with matter brushes but i am not doing it alone tonight tonight i am live with the lisa knows smith and i am super excited because man i know um lisa a long time and i've listened to her music for a long time so this is really going to be fun now before we get started y'all go ahead and just warm the room up and while you guys are warming the room up i want you to warm it up with some fire emojis down in the comments put those fire emojis in the comments because it's about to get crazy it's gonna be lit i'm super excited before we get started you guys let me just show you the brushes that we'll be using um it's matter brushes you guys when i first started doing makeup um i started teaching really early people were asking me how do you get this look and i would honestly have to send my students over here over there and everywhere to get the right brushes because your tools and the brushes that you use really do matter so i got tired of um i got tired of sending people everywhere and i just decided to create my own and let me give you a little backstory about this i, I saw adrian jump on which we actually went live on sunday but you guys i was um working on these in like 2017 like we were in orlando and i was using my first one of my first samples of this brush set but back then it wasn't what i wanted it to be i really wanted it to be uh, i don't know something just wasn't right but i thank god somebody say delay ain't denial delay is not denial hello somebody delay is not denial and god really helped me to develop an idea that would really help uh everyday women i didn't know that i was going to be online teaching i didn't know that um my focus as far as teaching would be you know as big as it is i didn't know my platform as far as teaching would be as big as it is but i thank god that he developed the idea more there is not a brush set out there like this um this brush set actually works as a system um, so I've gotten questions. I remember, remember sitting on the couch with my mom and my mom was like interviewing me, so to speak. Like she was throwing every objection at me about the brushes and I was killing it, killing it, killing it. Right. And, um, one question she asked, can I just buy one brush? And I was like, no, unfortunately this is, this comes as a brush set. It comes as a brush system because the brushes are numbered in the order in which you should use them. Right. So if you've ever been sitting in front of your vanity and you're like, girl, now what am I supposed to do next? You can't remember your next step. Each of these brushes are numbered in order. So you can either start with your eyes. These brushes start with the letter E or you can start with your face. So typically when you're doing a full face, you start with your eyes first. So you're going to start with E1, then go to E2, E3, E4. And then you go to your face, which are the face brushes that start with the letter F, okay? But if you're going to do a basic beat, we start with the brushes that start with the letter F, okay? And so these are all of your face brushes, and they are numbered in the order of F2, well, F1, F2, F3, F4, so on and so forth. Now, do you have to use all of the brushes? No, you don't. However, this brush set can grow with your skills. So, you guys, you can visit matterbrushes.com to grab you a set of brushes. I promise you, you're going to get a better blend faster. So, if you've ever struggled with blending, I shaped these brushes so that you can get a, a better blend much, much faster. Okay? You can get a better blend faster based on the shape and the confusion overwhelm frustration all of that out the door get it out of here because these are numbered in order and they are named very very descriptively okay so again super duper proud of these lisa and i are going to be working um with these brushes tonight now listen 
put in the comments how long it takes for you to do your basic beat. Let me know in the comments how long it takes for you to do your basic beat. Um, I'm really stalling right now because I am... Uh, I know Lisa is doing Bible study, so she's wrapping up Bible study right now, and then she's going to hop right on. Um, but let me know in the comments how long it takes you to do your basic beat, and then goal is. So what goal do you have? What's your goal, your goal time? And I'm not talking about a basic beat that says, oh, it'll, I, it'll do. Because I know that's what y'all be doing. Y'all be in the mirror talking about some, oh, it'll do. I ain't going to worry about it. <laughs> I know that's what you're saying. You're sitting there like, oh, these brows are just going to have to be crooked, right? All right, cool. So I see 20 minutes, 25 minutes. It's taking y'all 30 minutes. A basic beat, y'all, 30 minutes. Uh, No judgment, no judgment. <laughs> Uh, 20 minutes, uh, 25, 30, 20. Now put your goal time. So Adrian said her goal is 10 minutes. Make sure you put goal, like goal is whatever. Okay. We got four to five minutes to an hour. I'm talking about a basic beat now. I'm talking about basic. Like I ain't talking about, you know, uh, lashes, a thousand, you know, millimeters long eyelashes i'm just talking about basic i want to get in get out and goal is 15 minutes i don't know what i'm doing i got you i got you come on go 10 to 15 minutes 10 minutes oh perfect perfect so listen this is exactly what i teach um i don't know if you guys have been seeing <laughs> less than five minutes I don't know if you guys have been seeing my posts or if you've been receiving my texts, um, but I have a camp where I actually teach you how to do that in three days. Plus, I teach you how to do your eyeshadow too. So if you want to check that out, there is a link in my bio at basicbeatsummercamp.com. There is a link in my bio at basicbeatsummercamp.com. Um, so the enrollment though, I have to close it on Friday. So please make sure that you check it out and get inside of camp um, before time runs out, okay? So basicbeatsummercamp.com, you can go and learn more about how you can learn how to do an easy basic beat with me um, inside of my three-day makeup experience. Um, now, the best part of this makeup experience, though, for the basic beat camp is that I am actually shipping you your makeup. Hello, somebody. Is that helpful? Hello, somebody. I'm actually shipping you your makeup. That way we all on the same page. Ain't nobody confused. When I hold up a brush, you got that brush. The brush is going to be in there too. When I hold up, hey, y'all, you know, pick up your blush. You got your blush in your hand. When I say, hey, pick up your contour um, powder, you already got your contour powder because I put it in the box. I'm shipping it to you. So check out basicbeatsummercamp.com. I have to close enrollment on Friday. She said, what? <laughs> yes, I want to make it easy. I want you to walk away feeling confident, you guys. Confidence equals belief. Lisa is just finishing up Bible study. She'll be on in just a second. Um, confidence, you guys, is belief. Confidence is nothing but believing, okay? Confidence is nothing but believing. When you can believe something, you can feel confident in doing it. Your vibe changes when you believe something, right? Your energy changes. It shifts when you believe something, right? So we want to build your confidence in your makeup skills because that is going to trickle down and overflow into the rest of your life. You're going to walk into the room differently, right? You're going to show up on your date differently. You're going to be the first one to be ready to take selfies, you know, at brunch differently, right? You're going to be the first one ready to take a picture. Come on, y'all. Let's take family pictures. Nay, all of a sudden, you want to take family pictures since you know how to do your makeup, huh? <laughs> so definitely investing in learning how to do your makeup and, and having that skill 
Y'all, it's game changer. Sherba is right. She be cute. Sherba invested in learning how to do her makeup the right way. And let me tell you something. When things went wrong and she had somebody else to do her makeup for a wedding, because that was, you know, the gift to all of the um, wedding attendees. Oh, she knew what to do. She knew what to do because we had already worked together. She knew what I would do differently. She knew. Like, okay, this is how I'm going to correct this. And it's going to be all to the good, right? Right. All right. So tonight, you guys, again, I'm really excited because we're going to go through how easy it is to get your basic beats. Um, I am speaking with and showing and sharing this live with the Lisa No Smith. I don't know if you guys know, but she's mostly known um, for her voice. Um, you've probably heard her on Records with James Fortune. You've probably heard her singing. If you like quartet music, I put quartet down in the comments. If you love quartet music, then Lisa is um, a well-known voice in the quartet community as well. Um, and you may know the Brown Singers. She is, she's is she been singing in their group since she was a baby. Um, so we are going to have a good time tonight. So let me see if I can get her to go ahead and join in. I know she's transitioning from doing Bible study. She is just having so wearing so many hats right now. So I just appreciate her for coming on. All right. Now, y'all listen, make sure you have your notebook and your pen. Note takers are game changers, okay? Note takers are game changers. So make sure you have a note, your um, notebook and your pen. Now, again, while we wait, we're going to be using Matter Brushes. Um, matterbrushes.com is open now if you order tonight i will ship tomorrow matterbrushes.com if you order tonight i will ship tomorrow okay y'all give me your top two makeup goals give me your top two makeup goals i know y'all gonna say everything i get the answer all the time when i ask this question everything <clears throat> yeah i'll be putting in the comments everything <laughs> just give me a top two specific makeup goals what is it that you really want to accomplish with your makeup applying lashes listen applying lashes without gluing your eyes together is the key okay and i got <laughs> olivia <laughs> olivia said everything <laughs> <laughs> I said don't tip black folks know they're gonna do the opposite of what you tell them don't do all right chastity says applying lashes uh hey Attila Attila says eyes and cheeks are you talking about cheeks as in like blush or are you talking about cheeks as in like contouring let me know uh Toya hey sis um lashes and brows lashes and brows awesome uh eyebrows and contour that is one actually i'm teaching an eyebrow class this month y'all that's what i meant to tell y'all the last sunday of the month is may 29th last sunday of the month is may 29th you guys i am teaching a free brow class that's memorial day weekend i'm teaching it at 10 a.m we learn it in the morning so by the time you get to the barbecue that afternoon, your brow, at least your brow's gonna be on point. Hello, somebody, because I be wanting to eat. So I can't teach a late night class then because I will be sleepy. Okay. Uh D wants to reduce the shine and not look cakey. Uh Paulette, eyeshadow. Boo bay 89. Come on, boo bay. Uh eyeshadow and contouring. Miss Pam, perfect foundation color and how to apply lashes. Y'all really stuck on them lashes, ain't it? Uh, Katrina, top two, brows and complexion matching. Uh, Jazz, hey, cousin. Uh, using the correct products for my skin type. Come on, eyeshadow, contour, speed. Y'all, I promise you, the game changer is speed. How fast can you get it done but still look put together, still make sure that your makeup lasts, still make sure you look good in pictures? Speed is the game changer because you don't want Boo to be pulling up outside and he mad because you still ain't ready. Hello. Um, 
lash is not looking sweaty no flashback that's a big one when i first started doing makeup that was a big one for me contouring contouring brows i need to know my match with foundation can i just tell y'all the truth i got you lisa <laughs> lisa said i'm here <laughs> let me tell y'all the truth about matching foundation if you want the truth i want y'all to put facts facts in the comments matching foundation is a journey that you just have to be okay with accepting I know that we expect it or want it probably to be easy. Most everyday women do. They want to just be able to go in, look at it, guess, pick one, go home. They don't want to go through, well, what if it don't work? I got to, I can return it. Um, let me figure out, do I need a dark? They don't want to do that. And I know you don't want to do that. But even all of the professionals, I have to do the same thing. If it's a foundation that I want to try, just like I picked up this different color. I don't wear 322, but I thought that it looked pretty similar to my 330. You know what I got to do? I got to bring it home. I got to try it on my skin to see if I like the match. And even though this was a pretty close match, I could tell something was off. Guess what? I'm going to return it. But it's just the name of the game, okay? So I know y'all over it, but you have to. That's right. Uh, Katrina, you got to stay open to doing it. All right, y'all. Let's warm this room back up. Put those fire emojis down at the bottom because I'm about to bring on our guest tonight, who is the beautiful, the illustrious and talented woman of many hats, Miss Lisa Knows Smith. Girl, you made it. Trying to trying to preach to the peoples, give the people's a word, honey. Ah, look, I got you right here, and then I got Facebook right here. I'm like, baby, if y'all don't close up uh Titus and come on over to Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and I started See? ripping and running. So I haven't done a live on Instagram in a long time. Can I do? I'm gonna be sideways, no, because mm -hmm. the way my Pray for me. Uh, I'm trying to make sure my phone's set up so I can look normal, child. <laughs> I got to, I'm going to have to prop this up, honey. I, I told you I was trying to do the work of the Lord. I know. I know. I only I know said yes because it was you on a Wednesday night when I got because you know I love me some you. And, I'm so and I love you right back. I appreciate this so much. I'm so extremely proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of you. I These brothers you. are dope. Like, the, this whole this is so dope. Thank you. Oh, yes for the hand clap. <laughs> I'm not gonna play with you all night, Lisa. <laughs> I ain't gonna play with y'all night because I'm hungry, honey, because I'm a mama. Man. I listen. Come on. <laughs> all right. So I've introduced the brushes to everybody as as we were um letting you do your assignment. Um, so I want to make sure that you have your brushes set up correctly. Um, and so we're going to be working from the brushes that start with the letter F first. Okay. So those are your larger, larger brushes. Right. <laughs> so I should be okay. starting so with F. F1. So the F1 is going to look like a double-ended brush like this. Okay. They said turn the Wi-Fi off. Turn your Wi-Fi off. Okay, wait. The people direct, they, they, they direct. What's wrong? Okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I can, I can hear you just fine, but it was kind of like the video skipping a little bit, like it's not smooth. Should I connect to my Wi-Fi? Try to connect to it now. Sometimes when you turn it off and turn it on, it helps. Okay. Okay, yeah, they were saying that you were lagging. Okay. All right, y'all, everybody cro cross your fingers and toes. <laughs> I got a circle down at the bottom, so. Let me make sure I ain't lagging. 
Thank you. <laughs> so y'all look good though. Let me make sure I ain't lagging. Okay, so she hopped out. She'll hop back in. So hold on, y'all. Help! Look, y'all give her another hand. <laughs> y'all give her, <laughs> give her another hand. Y'all put a hand, some hand claps of um, hand claps of praise down at the. <laughs> Y'all done got so up and tickles. <laughs> Y'all put a good <laughs> Y'all give a hand clap of praise down in the comments as she as she come. Anyway, you guys, I'm really I'm really, <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> Hold on. You guys, the website to order the brushes is matterbrushes.com because you matter. Um matterbrushes.com. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, Holy Ghost. I'm back, honey. I'm back. <laughs> Somehow I made it. Okay. Okay. So the double-ended brush, a lot of people like to lay that across the front because they don't want to put the flat end in the holder. Okay. So you can lay that across the front. F2 okay. is the foundation brush. Got it. Okay, perfect. F3 is going to say blend and set. We're going to use that next. So make sure you set them up so they in order. Okay. F4, contour and blush. Got it. And then F5, nose contour, eye contour. It say like nose and eye contour. I have it. Yeah. Perfect. F6, all over powder. That's my big boy. I got it. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the big one. And then F7, Cheek Shimmer. Got it. Okay, fantastic. Baby, your people are in the building. They're giving you a hand clap of praise, and we are hey, so people. excited. Hey, my people. I love y'all. I see my sister, Sierra, where Pope is on here. Hey, Cedar. Hey, Sierra. Listen, I love me some Sierra, too. Listen, me too, honey. Okay. Okay. All right. So, typically, how long does it take for you to uh, do your makeup, Lisa? I would say um, about 30 minutes. About 30 minutes. Now, are you doing eyeshadow, too, or are you just doing, like, just basic? Normally pretty basic. I'm terrible at doing eyeshadow, so I don't even fool with eyeshadow. Okay, cool. So, what we want to do is try to show you, like, how to get your time down. Just okay. by following these brushes, okay? You ready? Okay. I'm ready. Now, we ain't going to worry about priming and all that kind of stuff. I already know your skin. I know you be trying to block the sweat, block the oil, and right. all that kind of stuff. I ain't seeing it. Oh, it's all right. We're we going nowhere, so we ain't going to worry about that part. So, we're going to start with we're gonna start with foundation. But before we do, though, for my people who are here who may not know you or those who are joining who may not know you, I want you to take a moment to just introduce yourself and let people know all of the hats that you wear. Yeah, so absolutely. My name is Lisa No Smith, and a lot of people know me from singing. I've sing, sang for years, been with the Brown Singers for about 30 years, almost 30 years now. I've uh, done it by myself solo, traveled and sang with James Fortune, and been featured on several projects. Recently, um, I became a pastor. My husband and I are pastors, so I'm a wife. I'm a mother of four children. I have an 18-year-old, a 12-year-old, a 7-year-old, and a 5-year-old, okay? And uh, <laughs> and so I do all of that. I am the founder of the Love and Women's Retreat, where we kind of work on women's empowerment and support and love for women. I think it's really important. So this is so beautiful that I get to make up my face with this beautiful lady and who I love, who was my makeup artist. And then, child, she got so busy, she couldn't fit me in. Y'all pray for her. Pray her strength. And I'm also <laughs> the owner <laughs> of my own record label, <laughs> Evo World Entertainment. We just signed our first three artists, so I'm really excited about that. So I'm just a woman who wears many hats and a businesswoman. I'm always on the go, always traveling. So uh, I've actually done a makeup class with you before and kind of, you know, learned how to just make my face up so that I can look decent. So I'm excited about the brushes <laughs> and uh, I'm excited that I matter and that I matter so much that I got numbered brushes to help me so I can do it better. <laughs> Period. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, awesome. So 
I want to dive into um, just so much, just about, you know, balance and mommying and transition. So we'll talk a little bit about that, but we're going to start our makeup first, okay? So we can at least get out and get the makeup part. All right, so do you typically, like, correct or anything? Like, add any corrector, orange corrector? Or... I typically Okay, cool. Okay, so we can skip brush one. So brush one is basically for adding corrector and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to jump to F2. F2 is for your foundation. Okay. What foundation are you using or loving right now? Right now, I'm loving the Maybelline Fit Me, the matte and poreless. So I use, uh, it's normal to oily, you know, skin, which is perfect for me. And I use 355. So that's my color. Cool. And so my color is actually 330. I love Maybelline Fit Me too. This is like, I just stocked up. But this is a pump from Amazon. Oh, wow. So I have to send you the link. Uh-huh. Yes, because who hates sticking that <laughs> on this? Is me. Uh-huh. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do, what you're going to do with the F2 brush, y'all, which is the second step, um, if you're going to skip a uh, corrector, I'm just going to dip. I like to put my foundation on the back of my hand, or I can just squirt it on my face, however you do it. And then okay. you want to just use this brush to press in the foundation. It literally says that on the brush, okay? So you're going to use this to just press in foundation, just like that. And when you press it in, you're getting more of an airbrush finish, and you get more coverage. So okay. I like to use a pressing motion. Y'all, tell us in the comments, what is your favorite foundation right now? Or if you don't wear foundation, tell us your fears about foundation. Like, a lot of everyday women, like, have a fear that they're going to look cakey or, like, they're doing too much if they wear foundation. Do you feel like they're, like... That's what I was going to ask. Like just, is, there, is there, like, a too much? Like, you know, is there a perfect... Like, you know, when you do... um your facial regimen or whatever. They may say a pea size of your, you know, whatever you're using. So is there a correct or way too much or do you have to use a lot for a lot of coverage or does that depend on the foundation that you're using? So a couple of things. I think it depends on the foundation that you're using. And then two, it depends on the coverage that you want. So okay. a lot of foundations come in different coverages meaning that you can buy a foundation that is light coverage, meaning that a lot of your skin still shows through after you apply. You can buy a foundation that might be medium coverage where a little bit of your skin still shows through. So I would consider this to be a medium coverage because I can still see my freckles a little bit if I, you know, lean in. And right. then you have full coverage. Full coverage and none of your skin shows through as soon as you put it on. Got now, okay. there are foundations that range, like this can be a medium to full coverage foundation. That just means if we apply another layer, layer. we're going to get more coverage, and now it's going to be full. Got it. Okay. So you get to customize that based on the type of foundation that you choose. Okay. That's good. That's good to know. Because right. sometimes I feel like when I, I feel like sometimes I put on way too much. And then sometimes I feel like I don't put enough. But I guess that's kind of depend on what look you're going for. Exactly. So it's definitely your preference, you know, how much coverage you want. Now, are you, when you do your basic beat, are you applying concealer too? Or are you just like, okay, with just keeping your foundation coverage? Definitely want to look concealer, baby. Conceal me, honey. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> I don't care if it's a basic beat or a mini beat. Conceal me. Now, I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Yeah. So, um, I, I know that a lot of people use that, that product. When I used to use it, it just didn't give me what I wanted. It but I know a lot of people. Mm -mm, it just so what didn't do you give recommend? Me. My absolute favorite is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Okay. It gives me a lot of coverage and it's also moisturizing. And so for me, now this is just me, I like something that's a little bit more 
um, that's less dry. However, you have oily skin. So LA oh, Girl Pro will, Matt. you know, you mm -hmm. would like that. So I like to put some, now this is when I'm doing my basic deep. I put some close to underneath my eyes on both sides. I go underneath my brows on both sides. I don't want to run you too fast, good. Come on, mm -hmm. mother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then go underneath your brows. Mm-hmm. Come on, mm -hmm. side. Thanks. <laughs> I go down the nose because I'm going to snatch my nose. I'm going to snatch. And then I go across their forehead and I hit their chin. And then you can use F3, which is the next brush in the set. And all you have to do is just use a tapping motion to blend it out. Now, it's a lot of tapping, so... Just tap on. I See, tap I, underneath my brows. I don't use a brush because I feel like I'm in a hurry and I, this tapping. That's F3 or F4? Oh. I knew it looked kind of big. Look at you, knowing your own brush. You I, better. I, I better. <laughs> so I use a tap. That's right. I, I'm use, a, I got <laughs> I definitely use a, a, a tapping motion. Now make sure it's all in your knuckles now. There you go. Okay. All and right. I just press that product in. Okay, so we're gonna keep pressing this product in until it's all the way blended. So I have a question while we're while we're blending, um, blending this. You wear a lot of a lot of hats. Is there such thing as balance and how do you define that? Um, I think there is a such thing as balance. And for me, it's always prioritizing. You know, uh, when I got married seven years ago, uh, me and my husband married seven years this year. When I got married, I literally cut everything else out. Because for me, the, mm -hmm. the, ba the balance is to prioritize. You have to know what's the most important thing. And for me, it's always my family. It's always my husband. It's always my kids. You know, I turned down several shows, several dates, several opportunities that were missed because the most important thing for me was my family. So balance is easy when you know the order of which things go. So family, ministry, you know, different, everything has a place. And because it has a place, I have no issue. There are no uh, um, off imbalances with what I'm doing, the hats. Nothing ever supersedes the other thing because it's always in its place. So I love that. And so what I get, what I hear you saying is you understand the things that you value and you also have implemented some sort of boundaries. Boundaries. That is so good. Yeah. Good. Because, you know, I have older kids and they were getting to the point like, mama, you missed my football game or mama, you missed this. And, and to me, that was a flag. It's like, okay, I know God wants me to do ministry, but my first ministry is my home. What will my children say about me? What will my husband think about what I'm doing? I have failed if I'm a public success and I'm a private failure. Come That's, on. That, ain't, that don't mean nothing because everybody's praising you for all the different things that you do, but your family doesn't. So for me, I have to set up those healthy boundaries to say, hey, and I check with my husband. When I, when I get a date, and I, somebody say, hey, you want to come here? I say, hey, you, do you mind? You know, how you feel about that? That's come not him running me or, you know, none of that. That is uh, respect and a healthy boundary because my first ministry is my house. Listen, they are already cutting up with the hearts in, in the comments. But, y'all, if this is fruitful, I y'all know how I do. Put all the fruit emojis down in the comments. I want to see the garden in the comments if this is fruitful. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> listen, a lot of people have such a, a, a different, you know, we all have different definitions of, of balance, but I think that that is so powerful to understand what your priority is. Was it always easy to set that priority? Was it always, you know, what, what did that feel like you got, uh, um, 
you know, a date that you want to do. Like you really want this opportunity, but then you have priorities. How does that, you know, the everyday woman is trying to figure out, but I want to do this because I'm trying to succeed. But now I got to, you know, they're feeling some kind of way. So how, what would you speak? How would you speak to that? To be honest, I never battled with that. It was always, let me tell you something. I was single up until I was 30 years old. So I'd never been married. I had had two children, um, had this whole experience. I wanted to be uh, married, not because I just did, I needed to be married, but there was, there was, it was spiritual for me because I wanted to um, break some generational curses. I wanted to be, uh, I wanted my, my daughter to grow up with the five. It was just so many different things that were very important to me. Why would a woman, especially if so many women want to be married and want to be have a relationship and they want to do this and then you get married and you make that the least on your list of priorities come on That's crazy to me i prayed for this i prayed for this man i paid pray for this marriage i prayed for my children to have this healthy family why would i put anything else before what i prayed for come and on. gave it to me so for me it's it's a no-brainer if they call me and I say, like now, I every year where our family goes on vacation in July, every year in July, I have the most astronomical numbers thrown at me. If you come, I had somebody tell me, if you come, I give you ten thousand dollars. I come, I give you this. And I told her, I said, ma'am, you can't give me enough money to leave my family. Come on. And I, and I believe, and the reason why I said that is because as women, we've got to get our motives and our desires and our priorities in check. God makes a way for me because I know what the main thing is. I take care of my house. I take care of my husband. I take care of my kids. And God takes care of me. I live yes. that. There is never, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not joking. Anybody who knows me out here, they know I don't have a problem with saying, oh, no, I can't make it. My kids got, oh, no, my husband. That's my husband day. I don't, get, I, don't, I don't feel no type of way because I'm never going to lack in an area where God promises to bless me if I am a good steward. Good God Almighty, don't make me Come on. over what he has given me. That means your family, not just your finances. You've got to be responsible with everything God blesses you with. When you're responsible with what he gives you, he'll give you more. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I want y'all to, uh, I hope y'all put y'all hard toe shoes on. Good God I Almighty. I hope you put your, hope you put your Timberlands on because, um, your toes might hurt by the time we get over here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, prioritizing is not just a thing to do. It is actually our responsibility as stewards over what God has given us. But in That's order it. to prioritize, we got we to gotta set some things in place. So before we talk about setting stuff in place, we're going to set this makeup in place. You got your powder? What kind of powder do you use? Now, I'm talking about like loose. Do you use loose powder? There you go. All right. What color I got, are you using uh, in it? I use Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and I use the medium deep, the 30. Medium deep and 30. Let me see if I got that down here somewhere. Now, I now, have, so when I call myself trying to have a more natural beat, I use the deep one because it's more closer to my skin. But if I'm trying to go for like a more glam beat, then I use this because it's like a shade lighter than my, my skin tone. That's, that's perfect. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, right. I'm right out here in these streets. <laughs> I don't know what I did with that. Now, here's the thing. My people know that I am an advocate for um this Laura Mercier. I love this loose powder. It's kind of like a yellow tinted. Or well, like banana. Um, like yeah, it's kind of like a banana powder, but it's not as drying as banana powder. Okay. I have used this before and I think I used it in the number uh 30. It's just that it's so hard to um teach like in a broad range because I would have to teach people, hey, get this shade or get this shade or get this shade. Right, okay. When this shade specifically works with everybody, and That's you really gotta know how to use this in order to make it make it work because of the texture of the powder, because it feels like flour. So you really have to know how to. It's very it's very soft, so you really have to know how to work it. So the same brush that we use to tap and blend that concealer in, which your blending is phenomenal, by the way. Y'all give her five stars for the blend. Period. Um, <laughs> you can use that same brush to tap into your powder 
and just use it to press. And I like to use like a, a really quick pressing motion just to press everything in. And I don't like to use a lot just because um, if you use too much, then sometimes it's kind of hard to blend it in. So you want to just make sure everything, come on, five stars. <laughs> thank y'all. Thank y'all. Shoot. Y'all have Patrick <laughs> lying to my makeup artist. <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> so I use my powder underneath my eyes and everywhere else that I've actually placed um, the product. So on my chin. And when I say the product, I'm talking about the concealer. So on my chin, down the center of my nose, underneath my eyes. Um, and then I try to really tap it in until it nearly disappears. And so I, how do you like this brush? How do you, how do you like it? I love this brush. Like, first of all, it seems to make, I, I normally use a sponge when I do this. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's not as hard of work. You know, I'm watching and seeing how quickly it blends. And I don't know if it's because the brush kind of goes in an angle. I'm sure that helps because it will probably hit every piece of my skin at the same time versus when you use one of these to try to blend, it's always hard to try to, you know, what I'm, am I making sense? Absolutely. Absolutely. So the backstory about this brush is sometimes when I would travel, I would actually forget to bring my sponge. Or I'm already sitting down and I forgot to like dampen my sponge and I really don't feel like getting back up because I've not really gathered myself to sit down and do my makeup. <laughs> and there was never a brush that would actually replace my sponge until I came up with this brush. So that's, that's why I love it so much. And it is perfect, you know, to do what the sponge usually does. Yes. So I'm glad you like it. Yes. Okay. Let's hit this contour. Um, which is the next brush. Now, this brush right here, you can contour and do blush with this brush. Um, so we're going to contour first. Do you usually contour with a powder, a cream, or what? <laughs> Don't let FMPC. I do. Because you know I'm silly. I do both now, okay? So don't judge me, okay? I no have, judge me. So I have the powder i have a cream to powder and then i recently started using i got this from the dollar store so don't y'all don't use my product no but i like it because i can just do this you got know? you versus but i can go get my powder if you want me to use my powder mm -mm. you don't have to use it you can use whatever you <laughs> you can use what you got but listen i would be careful on the cream on your nose just because I know you get oily fast. Mm -hmm. You know. I do. I do. Um, so I would be careful on, with the cream on your nose. Now, with this brush, this contour brush is specifically made for contour powder. So if you're going to use your cream, then I would go back to the F2 brush. But I got my powder and I want to do it like you want me to do it. It don't matter. It don't make me no difference. But how I'm going to use this brush if I've got no powder? We're going to use it for blush. Just pick this brush back up. Okay. Which I'm, trying, one? I'm, trying to, I'm trying to flow with what you're getting, man. Because it's somebody out there that's like you. We're trying, we trying to help everybody. So what is this, F2? Yeah, we're going to go back to F2. Okay. Okay, so it's better for um, cream and, like, blending things in because okay. it's shorter. So I'm going to do my cream, too. So. Okay. If you contour with your cream, I'm going to contour with mine. If you go around your forehead. Yep. I normally do like little lines. Mm -hmm. Does that matter? Nope. Because we're going to blend it in anyway. Can, do I need to a certain type of way? No. Okay. As long as you get, as long as you get near that hairline, it's all right. We just want the hairline to be blended in. <laughs> Now, I normally go down, should I? Or no? Yeah, you can go down. And that corn to around, I love that. It it just, it really helps. If you got it a really just to too much. Yes, it makes it, it makes it pop. It makes it stand out. Now, my, um, so my 
little cream that I'm using is like black opal, which you can buy black opal. You need to go on their website so you can make sure you go into the right hood to get get the stuff. Right. They don't be. They don't. They ain't in all neighborhoods. All right. Yeah, cause where the where he is at, they ain't over there. They ain't over there. Hello. All right. So this brush, you can just literally blend it in. Whatever you do, don't blend down. Okay. So I blend towards my mouth and then I blend up. But this brush is really nice and thick enough to like really blend that that contour in. I go in circles and just make sure that it's all coming together. And what's weird is I've been using a I I use a sponge to do that too. Now I know that that might be challenging to like really blend and get it. Yes, it takes a long. It's seamless. Yeah, it's a lot of tapping, a lot of you know what I'm saying to mm -hmm. try to get it right and blend yeah. it. Then you end up squeezing the life out of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So just using like a pressing and blending blending motion and just blending that contour on the side. We'll use the other brush in a minute just kind of to help bring that bring that in. And then making sure you now, don't have like a halo on your forehead. Is there a such thing as having um too dark? Because for for some odd reason I feel like the contour needs to be dark but does it have to be so should it be like maybe a shade darker or two shades darker or great question so there is such thing as too dark the the darker the contour the more dramatic you're gonna look so that's why we be looking like me you know i wasn't gonna say that but since you said it <laughs> I, let's tell the truth and shame the devil <laughs> period but yes so what makes you the process of contouring contouring is is basically just a technique it's a technique to change the structure of how your face looks you basically are creating shadows on the face and it is going to shift how your face appears in specific light so you need something that is about um i would say two shades darker is safe um, but it's still one of those things that you're going to have to just test out against your skin to see if it is dark enough or way too dark. Your contour should look natural. It shouldn't be super obvious. You know you put it there. But everything mm -hmm. should blend. So y'all see me and you see her. Everything is blended. I, I it looks personally like think, everything I, is one. I personally think mine's too dark. I think it looks good. What y'all think? Give us some stars in the comment. What y'all think? Yeah, let me know what y'all think. One star, two dark, five stars looks good. You know what I mean? Like somewhere in between. Because I, I'm struggling with that. Because I have so many different, I, I buy so much stuff now. And so I be trying stuff to try to see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And when I want to look beat, beat, the dark may look good because I'm going for that overly dramatic. But then sometimes, you know, when I want to look natural, maybe I, a lighter color yeah you definitely or you can just do powder so the the cream is going to be um the cream is going to be a lot it's going to appear a lot stronger okay so a lot cream of is really good powder that i have i think it's true radiance it's the one that comes with like the it's like a dark and then it's like a kind of medium color and then it has a highlighter in there. That's what I use. Oh, when got you. It's like a, a, a little contour yeah. kit. The black radiance. You talking about black radiance? If I, if I, uh, yeah, black radiance. I'm sorry. If I, if I think that it's too dark, then I'll use that like brown kind of on top of it to kind of yeah. tone it down a little bit. Yeah, that's the perfect perfect way to think about it. Um, but powder is going to come off a lot lighter than the cream will. So whenever you want to go with something lighter, you can actually dip your brush into both of those. So you you got two powders sitting there. For example, you just mm -hmm. dip your brush into both of those to kind of get the color in between so you won't feel like this one is too dark. Okay. 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 Do you wear blush? I do. You got it. Go on, get that contour powder too then. Okay, I'm getting it. <laughs> All 
Are you guys having fun tonight? I hope that this is it's being fruitful to you. I have more questions, you guys, for Lisa. The brushes that we are using, you guys, is from matterbrushes.com. These brushes are numbered in order. They literally have the name of the step on the brush. Um, and it's super easy to do. I know that we're talking and chatting, so it makes it seem like it's taking a long time just because we're pausing and talking, but I promise you, your time is going to cut in half when you use this brush. Yeah. When you use these brushes. So, yeah. So, let's do your blush first. You see my... Your blush in there? Mm-hmm. The blush. There we go. Let's do your blush first. I like to use... My favorite color blush is orange. I okay, feel like there is. I don't really, really on everybody. I don't have a color. I don't have a favorite because I'm really not a fan of blush. Because I feel like I sometimes when I do it, I start looking like a clown, and that's a fool. Okay, so let me teach you how to do it right. Because there's a lot of people that feel like you and they run away from the blush. So with this same brush that you use for your contour, we're just gonna lightly sweep. Okay, so you can see I just got a little bit. I'm gonna lightly sweep probably about two times. And then I'm going to lightly sweep against, like, barely touching my face. <clears throat> and I'm going above my um, contour where I placed it. And I'm just sweeping. See, now that ain't no light sweep. What brush you got in your hand? F2. I know that's F2. That's the wrong brush. Y'all, tell Lisa to read the brush, y'all. Okay, wait. I'm supposed to have. We on step number four. F4. There you go. Okay, nope, don't, 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 mm -mm, cause you got nothing okay. on your face. Just blend what you got out on your face first. <laughs> stop, please stop. Stop, stop. There we go. That was terrible, all right? That's how I be looking on Sunday morning. A clown. Both no, of. you don't. <laughs> I didn't read y'all. Y'all right. I, it's I, okay. It's contour it's blush not, on there. It okay. is. It is on there now. Okay, so we got that side down. Then we're going to lightly <laughs> add some up on the other side. Keyword, lightly. <laughs> you judging me, Z. Oh, I don't, I don't like. I don't like being... I am not judging you. I am not judging you. Sometimes, you guys, when we are moving fast. Now, let me tell you something. A learning curve for me, honestly, and it's going to be for a lot of people, is going from this to actually and this. Water. You get what I'm saying? That's a, that's a pretty big learning curve when it comes to makeup. Because by the time we get done, baby, we got stuff everywhere. This is beautiful. I love this. Thank you so much. So now that we're done with blush, I just try to train myself. Let me put this back and then let me go to the next brush, which is F5. So that's why I asked you to go ahead and get your um your contour kit because we're going to contour um, the nose and the eyes. So you already added contour to your nose, which I like to set. Even if I do cream, I still like to set with my uh contour so i'm gonna do the sides of my nose okay just so lightly in, lightly in my thing i would say the, the lighter brown okay don't read it just pay attention to the color okay <clears throat> so the lighter brown and i'm starting here yep and you're just gonna contour your nose and then i would actually take the darker brown and then I just sweep that into the crease of my eyes. I use that same brush and just sweep it into the crease of my eyes on both. There you go. Baby, you look like somebody. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> she ready? <laughs> she ready? <laughs> that is one of my favorite things to do. This is actually my favorite brush. You know, if you guys have matter brushes, let us know in the comments which brush is actually your um, your favorite. This is absolutely my favorite because it is just the all 
all time I'm, life hack. F3 is really my favorite. The blending uh, set brush. You like the, oh, the blend. So like F3. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, my, uh, I don't know if you'll see uh, Jay uh, Rochelle. I think it's Jay Rochelle. Uh, comment underneath, but she, that's her favorite too. Uh, Adrian said the one for the bronzer is her favorite. I love it. Okay, let me jump into these questions real quick. Okay, so we were talking about just setting setting uh, boundaries, um, setting priorities, making sure you know your priorities. In order to know your priorities, you, you got to know your values. Now, what would you say is probably the most uh what did you have to learn in order to set that foundation what did you have to change in order to set that foundation of you know implementing those priorities implementing those boundaries you have to learn where your peace comes from you know like a lot of people want peace they want a peaceful life they want you know i wanted a peaceful life and for me, everything was chaotic when I was ripping and running and, you know, my kids complaining and mama, you wasn't there. And my husband, like, you know, you left, whatever, whatever, however that, that was not peaceful for me. So for me, it was creating harmony and peace in my home. And that helped me prioritize it, I realized that when I made my kids, you know, uh, parties or, you know, my son played football when I was at his football games on Saturday. He was so happy. He had, a, you know, great spirit, great attitude. He was excited because mama was there. I was able to be there. I could come home. You know, that created peace in my house. To me, that's important. Because yeah. if, you are, if your life is chaotic and you don't have peace at home, how can you be productive in everything else that you're doing? And you're worried about my husband mad at me. He got an attitude. I'm fighting him. You, but no. So that means something yeah. is off balance in your life. Something yeah. is wrong. You got to change your priorities up. Peace. Yeah for me was very important yeah i think i think that's so <laughs> so important because especially for us as entrepreneurs our home life personal life oh baby if, if that's gonna overflow and topple over into the business if something's gonna happen as a result of what's happening in your personal it's inevitable yep. if you if you upset over here you got to gather yourself to deal with the business on the other side if you are, you know, sad, how can I show up, you know, at the time as a makeup artist, how can I show up as my best self for my clients if my mind is at home? You're right. I can't do it. Ain't no way. You know, if I got an attitude over here, I'm going to get an attitude with you. Right. You know, for, for whatever you do. You you showed up like now, now I'm, you know, I'm, I'm upset. You showed up on, you showed up too early and I'm mad. You know, now I got, I got problems. Because it, I did not yeah. take care of home. And now I'm bleeding on everybody. Talk. You talking, sis. That's so good. And I think sometimes we got, we got to check ourselves. We have to do some kind of evaluation to say something ain't right. That's number one. Let's confess it first. Yes. Something and I, ain't right. I Go tell ahead. I canceled, canceled them, especially with relationships and different things. I say, you know, it's not a blame game. You, we've got to be responsible. We have to take ownership of our choices and our own life. We are, I can't point the finger. If something in my life is not right and off balance, I can't hold anybody responsible but me. What can I do different? What can I, so for me, again, it was peace. I love just being, everything seems to work better um, when I am conscious and aware of the things that make my life off balance and that was causing me to yeah. not have my home. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's a yeah. second. I do it like breathing. I don't yeah. think about, there is no, my everything that I've done has been successful because the main thing is the main thing. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm going to use a term that my therapist used and that is anchoring and so when you can do something like breathing it's because you're so anchored in that you are strong in your belief and it is habitual meaning that you've practiced over and over and over again 
that this right here is is what I mean. And sometimes we have to unlearn the old way and then yes. reteach ourselves how to do it in a way that produces peace, regardless of if we've seen it before. We can't, we let our, our old things pass away and then we have to embark and press upon something that's new. Right. So I absolutely love that. Um, loving me again. Now, Am I crazy? I thought this was called Loving Me Better. <laughs> the song is called Loving Me Better. Oh, okay. I'm like, girl, I know I saw Loving Me Better. Okay, Loving Me Again. <laughs> the retreat. Tell me about the first one. Tell me about tell me about what inspired you to do it. You know, what was that thought process like? What was your goal? What happened after that first Loving Me Again retreat? So for me, um, I, I tell a story a lot about between the ages of 20 and 30, I really didn't know who I was. Not only yeah. did I not know who I was, but I didn't really love myself. And that was evident in the relationships that I chose to be a part of um, because people mirror what they see. So because I didn't un un know who I was, I didn't understand myself. I found myself in some bad relationships. Um, and then at 30, it's like I had to come to Jesus with myself. And I was like, this is not, this is not how this is supposed to be. You know, you can't be beautiful and wear all of this stuff on the outside and be bad and you got the baddest outfit. And then on the inside, you don't love yourself. Your self-esteem is low. You know, all of these different things because beauty is only skin deep. And I was like, this ain't good enough for me. So I got yeah. married. To, um, I met my husband at 30. I met my husband. I wasn't looking for marriage. I wasn't looking for love. I wasn't looking for nothing. I literally was working on myself. I was like, okay, you know what? I got to be a good mama. I got to be a good woman. I want to be successful. I, all of these different things that I wanted to do. And I really took some time to just zone in on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just was in my own world. R met my husband. And uh, we, we were friends for a whole year. Got married. Uh, got engaged and got married. I moved to Alabama. At 32, I said, wow, as a, in me and him talking about men and relationships. And I was like, you know what? It's so many women that feel like me that have gone through these terrible relationships and these terrible experiences. And we're afraid of love and we're afraid of stepping out and being an entrepreneur and afraid of, you know, living our dreams because of, of a lie that the enemy has planted in our head through some bad relationship. And so I went on Facebook and was like, how many women would meet me in Birmingham, Alabama in September? And that was in 2017. How many women would be? And I mean, I had thousands of comments. We opened up registration and I had 300 women register and meet me in Birmingham, Alabama. Wow. And it was changing. I had, we had a workout session with Yana Crawley. We had Sean Strickland there, who's a preacher, life coach, pastor. Um, we had a, you know, a blackout concert. And every year since then, hundreds of women come um, and we wear our pink and we black out and we do the same thing over and over again. And it's really an environment that is created to support, empower, love uh, on women. Some women have come by themselves and they have made lifelong friendships where they meet these women every year at Loving Me. That's important to me. I don't want another young woman to go through the season that I went through of not loving myself. It is a goal of mine to empower and encourage and say, hey, sis, you can do it. Look, you matter. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you matter. Yeah. Your, your love life, whatever you, if you want to be single, cool. If you want to be married, whatever it is, it's okay. Let us help you, you know, feel good about yourself, feel good about what you've accomplished and not, and forgive yourself for the mistakes that you have made that may have, have gotten you to this point. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. So that loving me better. I'm loving me better because you can only love me like I love myself. I and love that. that. I love that. So, first of all, <laughs> listen, it ain't easy getting the people together to do an event. So I commend you for <laughs> holding on. Hello? I commend you for holding on through pull, pulling the event together. But I think that the impact is creating an environment where women don't feel alone. And I, if I can pull out anything that we battle with a lot of times, it's the loneliness of keeping silent. And a lot of people yeah. ask me, well, Z, how do you know this person? Or, you know, how do you hear about this? Or how did you 
um how you how you friends with her you know it's because i jump out of my comfort zone because honestly i'm really an introvert i just get around i mean i get around people i love and we can act a fool you know what i'm saying but that. once that's over with baby i want to go to bed please check me out <laughs> Cut these lights off. Turn this camera off. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Don't but talk. listen, a lot of women are wondering how do I find <clears throat> my tribe? And honestly, it takes you to just make one step to come to an event like the Loving Me Again retreat. Yes, it's gonna gonna be an investment. But when you are ready to change your life, when you are ready to do something different. You have to invest differently. You have to move differently. You have to go into the environment that you want to continue to surround yourself with. So it's been plenty of places and conferences that I've been to, and I've made some lifelong friends. I can go almost anywhere in the world, and I got somewhere to stay because I've made those friends. And so, ladies, if you guys are on here and you are looking for, you feel like it's just time for a change, you're looking for like-minded women, you're looking for an environment that's going to feed you, feel you, inspire you, you need to make sure that you go to the link in Lisa's bio and check out um, joining in September the Loving Me Better, Loving Me Again, child. The Loving Me Again retreat, okay? Yeah. It's in Alabama. If you got to go by yourself. Go. Come on. You won't be, I promise you, because when, when the women walk through that door, they know we, it's like, we know, we see them like, oh, you here for loving me. And I, so many women, they travel alone and come. And when I see them, they have literally, like, I can think of uh, 10 women that I know because I get out and hug them and talk to them. And I know their life and their stories. And we literally have a moment um, every Friday. We do some fun thing. Like um, last year we did a pajama party. So all the ladies wore pink pajamas. We've done a pink fashion show. Uh, this year is pink karaoke. So we're uh, and game night. So we're I'm, it's going to be super fun. But when they come, they're not alone. And I've witnessed like women be like, hey, where you from? Like literally meet somebody. And then they exchange numbers and then they hanging out all weekend. And like, they just met, you know what I'm saying? That is so dope. Right. I also teach in that uh, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of reality TV only because it makes women look so catty and fighty and like we always against each other. I am an advocate for women not being intimidated by other women. Yeah, she's beautiful. Yeah, this, that, mm -hmm. and the other. But I want I want women around me that when they walk in the room, they don't got to be like, oh, she thinks she all that or oh, she. No, I had a woman tell me, she said, every woman that comes to loving me, they they share your vibe. Like she was like, it's just beautiful. Women just love each other. They hugging each other and talking like they've been. But I think the women that that we have drawn with this retreat are women that feel just like I feel like, yeah. sis, you don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I look at. I'm so proud of you. I said that, but every when I got these brushes, you can I, I opened them up in front of my husband. I was like, "Oh my God, sis is about to change the game." You know, I got excited because I know that they, it hadn't been done, and I, I just I want you to win so bad. That's what I want to breed with loving me again. Women who want to yeah. see other men, baby, you got it. Yeah, and and and, and I think that the whole concept of just building, creating the environment, um, it takes a lot of intentionality, you know? Yep. And with that intention, I heard you mention, you know, loving, loving you better means to forgive yourself. And sometimes women can't cheer for other women because they mad at themselves. So they project what they feel about themselves onto other people. So every time they say something, think something, it's really a reflection of what they think of themselves. You're right. And I've had thousands of women to sit in my chair. We've had many a different conversations from different angles. And I've just heard so many hurt uh, women who, at the root of it, just need to forgive themselves. Why do you think it's so hard for us to do that? You know, I learned, and, and this is about to get real deep, about two seconds. Two about, seconds. Come on, y'all. Yeah. At the beginning of the Y'all put deep in the comments. Push her, push her, push her. <laughs> At the beginning of the 
pandemic, I realized all these years I had been battling and I was thinking that, that loving me was just about me loving myself. But really it was about rejection. I had a mm -hmm. and I had been rejected. You know, I, my life story talks about, um, you know, my, my mom and dad getting divorced and, you know, all these different things. I actually wrote a book about it. And, you know, we're talking about all these different moments that happen. I think that we struggle with forgiveness because we struggle with, um, the reality of where we are and what our issues are. So mm -hmm. it's hard to forgive yourself or for something that you won't even acknowledge. You know what I mean? Like I had to forgive my own self for, for feeling rejected when people really weren't rejecting me or for feeling, mm -hmm. or, you know, a lot of it really, to be honest with you, stem from my mother and dad divorcing. When they divorced when I was about seven years old, um, I carried that as a child saying, you know, it was my fault. Maybe I did it. My dad didn't want to stay because he didn't want no kids no more. Or he didn't, you know, all these different things. And he went and got married, and, you know, and I love my dad, you know, but it's, it's the truth. You know, he got married, you know, had another family. And I carried that as a weight. So everything became rejection to me. When a man said, you know, I don't want to be with you, then it, it channeled me back to that re rejection. When he said, you ain't the woman for me. Uh, when my baby daddy walked off and let, you know, it, everything sent me back to that place. It wasn't until I actually put a name to it because I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what I, why I was feeling like this, why I feel so worthless and feel like don't nobody want me and feel like, you know, there was no name to it. And then somebody told me that, uh, as a matter of fact, Sean Strickland, she said, listen, you've got to name that thing. If you don't name it, then it, it doesn't become real. So for me, yeah. I named it. I named it and it was like rejection. I'm dealing with rejection. Then I began to study, how do I overcome rejection? Not just survive it, because a lot of people survive things that they haven't overcome because they won't name it. You know what I mean? You survived a bad relationship. You survived all those different things, but you haven't taken ownership and owned up to, I feel like this because I have abandonment issues. Or I have rejection or, you know, my, I had a bad relationship with my mama or, you know, all these different things. We've got to name them because you can't fix it if you can't tell us what it is. So rejection for me. Once I realized it was rejection, then I forgave myself for feeling like it was everybody else's fault. Then I said, okay, this is a lie that the enemy has been telling me that nobody wants me. Then I, after I was able to name it, own it, then I was able to speak to it. You a lie. You know, that, that ain't true. No. There are people who love me. Uh -huh. I got a man. He loves me. I got children. They love me. Everybody ain't rejecting me. You got to counter that thing. Everything that the enemy is telling you is a bad thing, you got to counter that. That's a lie. No, God made me the head. I'm not the tail. God said I'm a lender. I'm not a borrower. God said I'm above. I'm not. God, you got to speak whatever that is, that positivity, because I'm, I'm not the preacher that says, you know, um, if whatever that is that you believe, okay? Whatever it is that speaks positivity to you, speak that. Listen, step one. Put it in the comments. Name that thing. And I want you to type thing like I'm saying it. Name that thing. Step two. Own it. Own it. Because it's yours. You might not want it. But it's but yours. But it is yours. It brought you thus far. Step three. Speak to it. Talk to that thing. Thank you, Miss Ward. Miss Ward know how to spell. Name that thing. Thank you. <laughs> Step three, speak to it. Talk to it. Speak to it. Talk to it. Listen, those three steps will change your life. That's what we're here for. We, we can get off that. That's what we're here for, them three steps. Being able to acknowledge what it is. And this is what came up for me as you were talking is there's this phrase um, that's really popular now, which is, I feel some type of way. Mm -hmm. What are you saying, baby? You ain't saying nothing. You ain't <laughs> saying a thing. Because <laughs> feeling some type of way ain't no feeling. You ain't communicated a thing. All you communicated is that you don't know how you feel right now. Right. You feel something, but you communicate that you don't know exactly what it is. No exactly what feel. So if you need help with that, you guys, um, there's a tool called a feelings wheel. All you have to do is just Google it. It's a feelings wheel. It looks like a circle with another circle inside of it and another circle with different words of your emotions on it. 
You can start in the middle with your main emotion. The further you go out, the emotion gets more and more specific. So you will learn the language so that you can name it. Yes, that's so good. You will learn the language so that you can say, I feel empowered, I feel rejected, or I feel lonely, or I feel excited, or I feel whatever it is. You can feel abandoned. You can feel disgusted. Mm -hmm. Whatever that emotion is, you can actually name it and then start asking yourself, okay, why do I feel like that? Why? Where is that really coming from? Because it really ain't about him keep opening the toothpaste and, and not screwing it back on the top. <laughs> it just, it just, it couldn't be just about that. It couldn't just be about the dishes. It got to be something else. I got to figure out why. Um, and then that's dealing with other people, but really with yourself. Why am I so offended? Yes. Why, why am I so hurt? Why am I crying every time, you know, this word comes up every time I experience this? Why um, am I? And, and why Say it I, again. So why am I angry? It's a lot of women who are just angry. Just, what is, what's wrong, sis? They need a nap. That's all. Or <laughs> a, yeah, I I don't something. <laughs> yeah, the ang the anger though the anger is real. The anger is real. Um, but my favorite part is speak to it. You know, I I'm I love me some affirmations, baby. I'll be over here. I I knock the devil out with an affirmation. You ain't talking to me. You ain't talking to me. You ain't finna tell me I can't do nothing. I'm, I knock you in the mouth with. Listen. <laughs> Listen. I belong to the most high. I'm his child and his friend. You got the wrong one. Wrong one. Because I, I asked for one. it. It shall and be given to me. When I seek, I will find. When I knock, the door will open. Come on. Don't play with me. Don't play mm. with the devil because I don't play. Uh, please don't play. Don't with play. <laughs> don't play. Love so I, it. I, I love. <laughs> love speaking to it. You guys, give me some fruit in the comments. Is this fruitful now? I want to see the light the comments up with that garden. Now we're gonna wrap this wrap this thing up. Um, we on the hey. last two brushes, you guys. Big Mama here is F six, and then. Little, little poo poo on the end is F7. So F6, you guys, is just using that face powder. You use a face powder like all over? I do. Um, now, this, uh, I don't have my, I normally have my Maybelline, but I got like four makeup bags and it wasn't in there. But this, the, <laughs> can't stop, won't stop. That's cool, yeah. <laughs> the can't stop, won't stop is a matte uh, powder, so it's actually perfect. You know, everything I use is a matte, honey, because I, I, the skin be so oily, child. I, I got to, you know. Yeah, I know. So we just going to put this all over. And I like to think of my um, pressed powder as more so of like my top coat. So kind of like when you get your nails done, it just looks much better when they put their top coat on it um, as a finish. So I'm supposed to blend it all together? Yes. So this is just to blend everything together. And then you know how you had that little incident with the blush? This mm -hmm. brush is placed number six, just in case that happens, and it'll actually soften everything down. So I'm taking this powder to just make sure everything is soft, everything is nice, blended, it's looking natural, I don't look like a clown. Um, I'm just getting a nice finish with this brush. I'm pretty cute if I do say so myself. Yeah, you know? I mean, <laughs> it's giving. And then this last brush right here is the Cheek Shimmer Highlight, y'all. So anything that is shimmery. So if you have like a, a shimmer powder, I be, oof, I use this to the last drop, baby. But <laughs> a shimmer powder, you can put that along your cheeks like this. My favorite is I have some Becca bronzer. Mm-hmm. It's uh, on that supports the Sapanza. But it <laughs> <laughs> You use that on a special occasion, baby. That for Sunday. I didn't use that for the night, honey, because that's high. It's high. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I ain't playing with that tonight, honey. It's too high. <gasps> 
So, you guys, we have a walkthrough, a full, easy beat. You guys, I know we've been chit-chatting, but it's just been so fruitful. Um, a full, easy beat with matter brushes. You know, then you add brows or if you wear lashes. I like to just throw on some lip gloss and then I'm out of the door. But it is going to cut your time in half just because you know where your brushes are. You know what your brushes are for. You got your names on your brushes. You got everything that you need right here to guide you all the way through. Now, while we're wrapping up, um, my final question is, what do you, how do you want to be remembered? What do you want your legacy to be? When people think Ooh. of Lisa Knowles Smith, how would you like to be remembered? Man, that's such a good question because I say that all the time. I, I always say when I die, what will people say? So I hope that when people say, um, because a lot of times you don't know what people really feel about a person until they're dead and gone. I don't know why we don't celebrate people while they're alive. Uh, but I hope when I leave this earth, people will say uh, she was you know, a very loving person that I was really adamant about women's empowerment. And I pray that I inspire follow their dreams like to live their best life like that is and i hope that i've inspired uh some woman that it, it's possible you literally can have it all you can live your dreams you can have a, a happy a, a happy marriage a happy family you know a happy household you can you know have multiple businesses and you can do what god has called you to do it is possible like yeah. literally it's attainable and i want to be yeah. living that's what I want people to see when I when I leave here. I love that. I love that. Okay. I just want to tell you thank you, girl. <laughs> I just want to tell you thank you. I appreciate thank you girl. so much. I love I you. I appreciate you so much. I know you don't be on the, in the live world like that. So I appreciate you so, so much. I'm so, so proud. Um, I honor all of the things that you are doing. Um, just transforming and impacting so many women. And I love it that you do it in your own way. I love it that you ain't trying to be nobody else. Um, I love that you're real. Uh, I wouldn't even invited you if I, I if I didn't think you was real. Cause I just love, <laughs> I just love that you're real. Um, so I appreciate you so much for jumping on. You guys, this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to go and light Lisa's page up. I want y'all to put fruit emojis in a random post just to let her know that you were here tonight, okay? I want to see all the fruit emojis. It could be, it probably don't even make sense for that post. I don't care. Just go and <laughs> go and light her page up. Go and follow her if you're not already following her. And if you are interested in the retreat, let them know about how they can get inside of Loving Me Again retreat. Sure. Okay. We have a loving me again. We have an Instagram page, we have a Facebook page, and then you can go to the website, which is www.lovingmeagainretreat.com. All of the information is there. How to like to register to be a part. We're going to Montgomery, Alabama this year. It's going to be super amazing. Um, if not, if even if you can't make it, pray for us that uh, it will be an impactful weekend, that women's lives will be changed forever. And uh, hey, stay connected with me. Send me a message. Shoot me. I talk to everybody all the time because that's what I be doing when I be doing stuff. So I love to talk to you guys <laughs> and connect with you. Z, I love you. I've loved you from the very first time you graced my face in Nashville. Years and years and years and years and years ago. Oh, and I, I know, right? We laughed and acted a little fool that night. The whole fool. <laughs> and we've been, and listen, I loved you ever since then. And I appreciate you. I'm so proud of you. I'm honored to have this brush set. And uh, I, I see a million, a million dollars coming from this. Let me lift my hands and receive it because I receive it. I receive Re and believe. This, this, this is it, sis. Thank you. Okay, come on. Let's get our, um, we're going to get our picture for this cover. Little pause here. And cheese. Ah! Okay, this should be good. I should be able to scroll over for that. All right, you guys. This has been fantastic. Lisa, Mwah, I love you. And we love should you stay in touch. And yeah. we'll talk to y'all soon, y'all. Good night. Good night.